so for instance we just want to keep this bit here now what we want to do is render the video so we make our own video file out of this so we go up to file render as now you'll notice that um, if you click down here we get a lot of uh, choices you can import this as an mp3 so obviously if you don't want the video you can just uh, right click this and delete the track so you just have the audio in and you can convert it into an mp3 uh, you've got QuickTime, you've got um, MPEG, you've got AVI, you've got WMA, uh, you've got all kinds of different formats now a lot of people have problems with this because um, you know if you don't use the right format you could get unexpected results sometimes you'll find that the um, the file output is absolutely huge you know you will probably find that it goes up into the gigabyte range just for a few seconds of clip now that's if you um, choose the wrong setting I usually find that with uh, AVI that's that's the case um, AVI is higher quality but the problem with high quality is you get a lot bigger file size. What I tend to use is QuickTime or MPEG-1. Um, if you want to use um, Adobe Encore to um, do your DVDs with, um, unfortunately um, Encore does not support MPEG-1, it only supports MPEG-2. So if you're exporting your videos to use in conjunction with uh, Adobe Encore make sure that you set it to MPEG-2 however just for the sake of this tutorial I'm going to select MPEG-1 now down here we have our um, template settings you can change it to NTSC or PAL now NTSC is for um, you know, the US it's um, basically um, frames per second um, the format that they use and PAL is for Europe and UK um, PAL is uh, 25 frames per second and NTSC is about 29.97 frames per second um, right if we go to custom uh, we, we've got our, all our settings here and the rendering output quality good however if you want good quality go to best uh, however if you're just testing your video to see what it looks like go to draft or preview this is low quality video and it you know it's basically not used for presentations or anything like that down here you've got some options you can go to video and you can change your settings you know you can change your width and your height you can change your video quality to high or low uh, same with your audio you know, as long as you know what you're doing, you can um, alter all these. Okay, so click OK on that. Um, if you want to use QuickTime, okay, right for the highest quality, it's free MBPS. You know, any of these other ones are slightly lower in quality. However, the uncompressed one is very, very high quality, but also a very big in file size. So if you've got a video clip that's any longer than 20 seconds, I would not recommend using this because your hard drive will just disappear. So um, yeah, if you want good quality but not high file size, I'd go to free MBPS. And same thing, go to custom and change it to best good preview draft or whatever your settings is um, and obviously here as well you can change the quality you can change the uh, the size you know you've got all these settings here you know like NTSC square pixel NTSC DV NTSC standard high definition uh, high definition again with different resolutions so you get quite a lot of, to mess around with so obviously I'd recommend that um, if you're rendering something get get a piece of footage that's not too big um, render it under the different settings uh, try all of these and see which one works best for you so yeah and once you've rendered it you should get it in in your um, folder that you choose so if I just have a look at that